When you mention Zulfiker tank you have to specify what version, they have about 5 of them, 3 of them at least, are no to the public. That was said to have entered production in 1999. There are currently no clear figures as to the number of Zulfiker 3s that have been produced. This MBT was named after the legendary sword of Ali, the first Shiite Imam. Brigadier General Mir Yams Masamzadeh is often cited as the janitor of this tank, as deputy ground force commander for research and self-sufficiency of the armed forces in the early 1980s. Tank battles occurred in the Iran-Iraq War, giving the opportunity for the post-revolutionary Iranian armored divisions to test their mettle against a wide array of Iraqi tanks, with both Western models from before the 1979 revolution and from the Soviet Union after this date. From all array of foreign technologies, the self-sufficiency of the armed forces was able to test and choose the best technologies for the first true 100% local tank design, which also integrates the whole Iran-Iraq war experience into effect. Iran is a country not often associated with tank production, as it relied on purchasing exported vehicles such as the British Chieftain and USM-60 series prior to the Iranian Revolution of 1979. It has however developed the ability to upgrade modify these and other military vehicles, eventually leading to licensed production of 500 plus T-72s MBTs. The next evolution was the production of its own indigenous MBT. Testing of prototypes were carried out in 1993 and six semi-industrial prototypes were also tested in 1997. The Shahid Kala Duz Industrial Complex in Iran was inaugurated as the production line for the new indigenously manufactured Zulfiker main battle tank. In late July 1997, by the former Iranian president Akbar Hashimi Rafsanjani. The first model that entered production was the Zulfiker 1, which is in service with the Army of the Guardians of the Islamic Revolution in Iran, and as of 2001, 100 Zulfiker 1 are said to have been produced. In order to maintain commonality and logistical support of munitions the vehicle uses the same 125mm 2A46M Smoothbore cannon used on the Iranian-licensed built T-72s. Its suspension system is torsion bar and based on earlier M60s and a 12-cylinder diesel engine, generating 780 horsepower. Most experts agree that the 1993 first series was a second-generation MBT. Lt. Gen. Mohammad Reza Ashtiani announced in 1997 that the mass production of Zulfiker tanks started 1996 was in progress. In between the second version was developed as a testbed in the 2000s, and the third version was officially announced in February 2013 with a whole array of improvements, up to a third-generation standard MBT. Wikipedia's page in Farsi reveals that the first prototype was developed in 1994 and production lines were set up in the summer of 1998 in the industrial complex of the Martyrs, and since 1999 has been in service with the Iranian armed forces. The armament is based on the Soviet-built 125mm Smoothbore cannon of the T-72s, locally produced. The gun is fully stabilized and capable of firing on the move. The fire control system was apparently derived from a Slovenian model and suspension systems and road wheels from the M60. The official website of the Ministry of Defense states that T-72 modern FCS equipment and 125mm ammunitions are now produced also in Iran. The Zulfiker 3 has been upgraded with a 1000 horsepower diesel engine giving a top road speed of 70 km per hour fire control system. And the autoloader used in the T-72s, reducing the crew to the driver, hull front, the commander, right of turret, and gunner, left of turret, with the autoloader in the center of the turret. 
The vehicle is equipped with day and night vision sights, an NBC system, a coaxial 7.62mm MG, and a further 12.7mm MG on the commander's cupola. Different sources report the vehicle to have either passive or composite armor. The vehicle's weight is 40 tons, so therefore must have passive armor. According to estimates in 2010 about 100 Zulfikers were in service. Zulfiker 1. This early model is based on the M60 chassis and parts dating back from before 1979. Modifications are extensive, comprising a new hull, new turret with composite armor, and the 125mm 2A46 Smoothbur cannon from the T-72. It was first revealed in public in 1994, and only six prototypes were completed and field tested in 1997, but no production resulted in this first Iranian MBT. Among others it can be distinguished by its characteristic rear slats exhausts identical to the M60, six-ribbed aluminum road wheels per side, bare turret with trash can lid, gun mantlet without canvas covers and mount for a coaxial LMG. Zulfiker 2. This interim prototype served a test bed for a new, stretched hull with an extra pair of road wheels and moreover a new and more powerful engine. Others possible features include an improved autoloader for the main gun, now the 2A46M from the local Safar 74M BT. It is recognizable for its closer weave engine access doors and exhausts, seven steel unribbed road wheels, bare turret with trash can lid no gun mantlet canvas cover as the Zulfiker 1. Zulfiker 3. The only production MBTs of the whole series were derived from the Zulfiker 2. Although similar in many ways, the turret is modified, smoke mortars added, the fire control system is considerably upgraded, as well as the chassis, engine and main gun. The 2A46M is coupled with a new laser rangefinder, the turret is reinforced, and the drivetrain received an armored skirt protection. About a hundred, estimated, were built so far. Among others, they have downwards facing slats exhausts and access panels at the rear, new brake light and towing pintly, plus internal drive sprockets, new hatches for the TC and gunner, an extra 12.7mm DSHK on the covered gun mantlet and EFCS gunner's sight.